Hey there, y'all. If this is your first time joining us, welcome to Homesteading at Cooker Gehooft. I'm Simber, and I have exciting news today. The Harvey Wilson lynx that I thought had died out have come back. Super excited about that because the two other bunching onions that I had planted in this area um, a couple of years ago have died out. They have not come back, but these Harvey Wilson lynx, which are a heritage lynx, came back this fall so as you can see they are definitely all bunched up and i need to come in and divide those and plant some of them elsewhere what i plan on doing is planting them in this bed right here pardon the mess i just planted some seeds in this um, makeshift greenhouse that i had purchased years ago had it in storage and one end broke off and I finally just said you know what I'm gonna hot glue it together we'll see what happens so we've got some of that planted and this over here is essentially what has become an allium bed so on the far side we have Egyptian walking onions and they walk because whenever the stalks bend over at the end of the season it puts the bubbles that grow on top onto the ground and those take root and grow and so it moves along from one place to another kind of weird um, check out some of our other videos about that uh, to maybe get a better visual on that these right here are um, the four heirloom garlic ginormous heirloom garlic that we got from my parents place that had been growing at minimum 30 years they're probably more like 50 years with no kind of cultivation and so the experiment with these is I wanted to leave them in the ground over the winter to see how they did. Thank you for the sticker, Malachi. You're welcome. This is our son, Malachi. We've got a daughter, Gwen, but she decided to fall asleep on the floor in the house while Mama's been working outside. And then these other little tiny pieces of green you see sticking out here and there um, are some of the garlic that I just threw the cloves in the ground. They did not do well last year. And we'll see how they do this year. Hey, sweetie, how are you? I'm tired. Aww. And then these other allium that you see sticking out of the ground here, back over by the Harvey Wilson Links, are some old onions that I bought from the store and threw it out here because this area right here used to be a compost pit the first year that I was living out on our property. Um, I moved out here about five years ago. Um, actually, yeah, it's been five years. And then Justin and I got married within, oh, how long was that? So Justin moved out here eight months later when we got married. And we've been trying to build our homestead since then. Um, I started right after I got here, but it's been taking time because I moved out here, got a bunch of baby animals, had to take a break to take care of all those, and then had to get ready for our wedding. And then um, we were starting to work on the homestead some more and found out we were pregnant. So um, it was just, uh, it's been a lot and we've enjoyed it. And uh, eventually we'll get caught up. Um, but I know it looks like a trashy mess, but there is a point and purpose for everything we have here. Um, for example, all the cardboard is to kind of help suppress the weeds because we have a really bad Bermuda grass problem which is why we've decided with how busy we are now that Justin is full-time working and I'm full-time working, we're going to start rototilling for our garden. So we've got to get a rototiller. This project over here is a hygge culture bed in progress. Um, we didn't have all the materials just to do it once. So we're um, building it up over time and then eventually we'll cover it with some dirt and plant stuff on that as well. This is a low-lying area so it got pretty bad waterlogged anyway. In fact, pretty much where that hygge culture bed in progress is was an area that we, Justin and I, first broke ground for a bigger garden and then we realized that it was just too wet at certain times of the year. So, um, Glad you joined us today. Hope you have a blessed one, and we'll talk to you again soon. We'll end on Golden, my favorite rooster, walking around. He's my sweet boy. God bless.